having a look see around Great Yarmouth. It's an interesting place. It was a walled city um, and some of the walls and turrets still stand. There was a disaster here where some kids drowned when the bridge collapsed back in the day and there's a memorial to that there. Graffiti under um, walks, underpasses. Interesting. Um, lots of things to see. They have the rows, which are um, historical laneways where people used to live and work. And they also have this, you know, street arc. They have got links back to Banksy. They've got the Great Yarmouth Eye. They've got Seaside Fair and, of course, beautiful sandy beaches. Not my most favourite of places, I must admit, but there are some good things to see and do here. My favourite was kind of seeing the more literary history it has to offer and also um, going checking out the bank seats. But the main shopping area, the main front way was actually quite, um, quite nice. We went over to Anna Sewell's house. She wrote Black Beauty, of course. She was born up in the top bedroom there of that house. And um, right up here, as was the way in those days. And we also went next door to Kirsty's Cakery to enjoy a little bit of a refreshment stop before going around the cathedral here. Some of the victims of the bridge collapse that I spoke about buried here and also there's a memorial to um, a helicopter disaster that happened in more recent times. There's also witches buried in the graveyard behind. This is quite a nice place to spend a while, go and have a little walk around. Get away from all the tourist tat and touts on the front just depends really what you're into. I'm just not really a fun seaside kind of person. Entrance to the vault here. I don't know if that's something out of a movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a nice graveyard. Um, a bit scary when you kind of look over and see stone angels amongst the trees. But, you know, we're grown-ups. We know what we're doing. And then it was out to the waterways, which was inspired by kind of Venice. Um, built with labour from the guys that had come back from the war that were um, unemployed. Uh, it did fall into ruin and then was renewed, I guess, by lottery money recently. And it is a very beautiful little walk around. Some weird art installations, but there is a boating lake there. And, you know, it's quite a nice thing. There's also loos down there, which is uh, always handy. And then it was a walk back along the very long promenade you don't have to actually get your feet in the sand you can walk on the thing and we stopped by the almshouse and that was great yarmouth <laughs> <laughs>